In the previous video, we used SQL Server Management Studio to connect to different databases. In this video, let's continue with SQL Server Management Studio basics. And we are going to cover how to execute SQL statement. So let's go back to SQL Server Management Studio here. In order to execute SQL statement, we need to click on this button over here. Right? You can also go to File, New, and then Query with Current Connection. But let's choose the basic one. So click on this New Query, and you can see hovered mouse over this tab over here. You can see that this query is sort of associated with the database that we chose over here. Right? So you can see this is connected to the master database. You can switch to different databases here, but don't actually worry about that. In this video, I want you to focus on this area, which is the text editor. Remember, I changed the font size of the text editor in the previous video so that I can do my presentation better in this video. So let's type in some SQL statement. Most of the SQL queries start with select, right? So we're selecting something or pulling something from the database. Instead of actually pulling any actual data from our system databases, I'm going to say select hello world. So this is a SQL statement. It doesn't actually return any actual data from the database. It's returning a string that are hard coded over here. So in order to execute this, there are a few ways. One is to click on this execute button. And you can see that you can use keyboard shortcut, which is F5. So let's try to use this button first. Use my mouse to click on it. Uh, you can see that the result shows up in the result tab over here. And it says hello world. Once this result tab shows up, I can use control R. So control plus R on my keyboard to make it disappear. If I wanted to show up, I can do control R again to make it show up. So let us make it disappear first. Now, Let's try the second way to execute the command. So if I just press on the F5 key again on my keyboard, now you can see the result again. If you think that what I just did is I pressed on Control R to make this show up, let me hide it again, okay? And then let me change this to Hello Worlds. And then I press on F5. Now you can see it says Hello Worlds, okay? So this is the second way to execute the command. Another thing about executing commands or SQL statements is about highlighting or selection. So let's say that we, instead of having just one select statement of SQL statement, I have multiple. So now if I just press on F5 or let's click on the execute button, I get all three results right, in different sections. If I just want to execute, for example, the middle one, how do I do it? I can highlight it and then I click on the execute button or I can highlight and press on F5. So far, you have learned actually four different things. Let me summarize for you. First thing is in order to run SQL statement, you need to open up a new query window. Click on this, open up new query window. Second thing is to execute statement we can click on the execute button or press on F5, which is keyboard shortcut. And the third thing is in order to execute a specific SQL statement inside a bunch of SQL statements, right? We can highlight it and then either click on the button or press on F5. Now we get the result for the highlighted one. And then the last thing that we learn is to use Control R to hide or make the result show up. Okay, those are the four things we learned so far. I wanna add another thing to this video, which is the results. So results can be in different formats. In this case, it's in a grid. You can see this is a column, this is a row, and we can actually change that. Let's go to the query menu over here. And then here, there is a sub menu item here there's results to grid, which is the default one, which is the current one, right? And if we change to result to text, and then we run again, let's say we select this one and run it. Now you can see that the result is in text format, all right? What if I execute all of them? You can see that 
There's three different sections. All of them are in text. And of course, there's another way to render the result, which is render to file. So let's select that and click on this. Now it asks me to select a place where the file is saved. So let's say that this is just results and then click on save. Then I can go to the folder and then you can see that it's saved into a report. I can open it up with, let's say I open it up with notepad and now you can see the result in text format, but it's saved in the file. So again, we learned five different things. I summarized four different things for you and then I added the last one, which is the result format. Uh, the way to set it is go to, go to menu and then go to the results. Let me change it back to result to grade. Okay, that's everything I wanna cover in this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.